Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and this is another um, jewelry thrifting video. This video consists of purchases I made from our vintage store. Uh, I've purchased from our vintage store before, and they always clean and package everything beautifully. Um, Marcia at our vintage store has a YouTube channel, and I saw some pieces on um, one of her videos that I would like to purchase and so I just contacted her and uh, we worked out a price and uh, here they are. So the first piece is this beautiful Sarah Coventry leaf pin. It's called Windfall and it's from 1962. It's textured gold tone on the front, uh, silver tone uh, on the curl of the leaves and then on the back behind the pin you can see the signature here, Sarah Cuff. Marcia always has a great way of packaging everything. First of all, it comes in these cute little um, padded envelopes with the uh, happy face sticker, and she makes these herself. And then the items are on cards. And she's got a great way of using um, the punch that you use for making uh, earring cards and she uses that so that she uh, can pin pins through that as well. This was a little thank you gift that she sent me of some pins. Um, a little cherub, um, a pin of Santa kneeling at the crash that I'll wear on my Christmas vest and a lovely gold tone leaf pin. So those were, those are the extras she sent me. So look, those are just beautiful. Um, in addition to the windfall pin, I also um, purchased this leaf pin called Fashion Leaf. It's um, got rhinestones on the right-hand side here, beautiful rhinestones. Uh, again, gold tone and textured. There are earrings that go with it, um, so I'll have to uh, watch for them in my travels. And again, on the back, it's signed Sarah Cove. And this is a piece from uh, 1961. Then there are these lovely gold tone uh, cherries. And the name of this piece actually is Golden Cherries. There are earrings to match that I'll uh, be looking for to add to my collection. Um, beautiful textured gold tone again. Um, and signed uh, on one of the leaves here. The next item I purchased from our vintage store was this lovely apple pin. And you might think that this is a Sarah Coventry piece. It looks very much like um, the Golden Cherries, uh, not the same scale. But actually, this is a Coro piece. And it's marked um, here on the back of the pin, just uh, under my fingernail there, a tiny little Coro. And the next piece that I purchased, again, another small pin, and I hope I can get it focused well. This is an Emmons pin. Now, Emmons and Sarah Coventry are um, related. And this has lovely little uh, ballotinis in turquoise color in the nest and a lovely little red rhinestone in the eye of the bird. So a sweet little pin, very, very, very sweet. And it is signed here on the back, uh, on the branch, uh, Emmons. Now, Marcia also had a fundraiser for uh, Alzheimer's research, and she offered some interesting lots, and she did a great thing. She um, took items that had been in um, previous jewelry videos and offered them in the lots and there were two lots that I purchased one was the children's lot and in that lot there was this um, big bag of children's jewelry which I'll show you in a second and then a big bag of all these items which are called charm charmazing charm azing or like charms and amazing joined together. Um, and these are charm bracelets that can be customized 
for uh, the wearer. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bracelets, a whole bunch of charms, and um, things like besties, and a heart with an infinity symbol, um, a heart with wings. So these uh, I had seen in a, an earlier video, and I so I jumped on this kid's lot to purchase to uh, use um, at a birthday party with my granddaughter. And it comes with all the little um, pieces that close off the bracelets once you've um, put the charms on them. And then there are some car uh, cards that talk about the charms and what they mean. So that was half of the kid's lot. So that's going to be fun when the time comes. There's this cute little rabbit. The, the, the charms are quite cute. And I looked up these kits online um, to, to try to find out more about them and the purpose and so on. And they sell from anywhere from uh, $15.99 to $24.99, depending on um, the complexity of the kit. So... Uh, in this um, kid's lot, there was also this lovely daisy brooch, which I might keep for myself. Uh, lovely daisy. Um, some pretty pink plastic pearls. Some plastic bracelets. There's four all together that uh, coordinate. So that lovely pink, purple, yellow, um, a couple of watches. One is a lemonade, uh, Alex's lemonade watch, and a uh, a faux oh, Disney watch, Disney Frozen watch. So um, those will be fun for my granddaughter. Um, and a heart-shaped bracelet. Um, a uh, stretchy bracelet, a necklace with a, a lollipop on it, and a bunch of earrings. Now my granddaughter does, and a stick pin, sorry, a bunch of earrings and a stick pin. Now she doesn't wear earrings yet, but hang, I can hang on to those for the future. And then some great uh, little stretchy bracelet, dress-up necklaces, um, Another little stretchy bracelet with hearts. So really fun stuff for the fundraiser. Um, and I can't wait to uh, share that with my granddaughter. She's uh, quite queen, excuse me, quite keen to do her own jewelry jar video. I'm trying to <laughs> persuade her to wait a few years. And then I purchased a, a, a colored lot for myself. Uh, Marcia had a silver lot, a gold tone lot, well, silver tone lot, a gold tone lot, a black lot, uh, a white lot. I can't remember them all. But I purchased the white lot. So in the white lot was this amazing, stretchy. Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of these. Not Gucci bracelets. Uh, they have a lovely name when they're when they're all full of uh, stuff like this. So an amazing pearl and uh, chain bracelet, um, a plastic pearl necklace that I'll probably uh, give to my granddaughter, but very wearable. Uh, another pearl bracelet, big chunky one, and. Then this necklace that I had seen um, in an earlier video and thought, oh, I'd like to have that because I have other things that would coordinate with it. So this is just a plastic bead necklace, and the beads are highlighted with um, black um, paint on the white, but very wearable um, with so many different things, a black dress, you know, a white shirt with jeans. So a uh, nice necklace there. There were a couple of bangles, and these are quite pretty. They have the uh, white enamel with the, um, I think that's silver tone. It's hard to tell in this light. And a little bracelet with a, a hammered cross and a gold bead, but again, another um, 
uh, pearl bracelet, stretchy bracelet. This lovely um, vintage style white with gold bead necklace. And it has the spring ring clasp. Lightweight, but um, in excellent condition, very wearable. And then this very interesting, um, you can hear the sound, plastic bead uh, necklace, uh, oval beads, um, some plastic that is sort of imitating metal, nice crystal plastic, uh, faceted beads or crystal colored, um, solid oval white beads. Um, so again, a little heavier, but um, a lovely white necklace. So that's my white lot, my kids lot, and my Sarah Coventry purchases from uh, our vintage store. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, have a great day, and we'll see you next time here at Passions and Pastimes. Thanks for now.